Melissa here and Will and we have another um, Dollar Tree haul for you. I just wanted to show you my nails um, that I did this week. Um, it is, I'm calling it a throwback, a throwback to the 80s. I have nail stickers on, they're kind of hard to see, and then Paul bought me this set of these three colors. It's a pink, it's a corally, and um, the lime, you know, the electric lime. So um, yeah, I liked that, so I've had this on, um, tomorrow will be a week. Okay. So, I'm going to start with um, the stuff that I picked out, and I'm going to try really hard to like look up there so I'm looking at you guys. It's really um, hard for me because I'm constantly looking to make sure that I'm not, you know, out over here, you know, where you can't see it. So, I apologize. I'm really trying to look at the screen to make sure you guys can see it. I'm sure hope it's a wishes <clears throat> and forget the manners. <laughs> okay, so um, I have three bags. Um, I spent $25 or $26. Uh, so let me show you what I got, okay? I was so happy to find these. I absolutely love these. These are the butter, the butter penny sticks, uh, braided pretzels. Um, these are good through December 4th of um, 2020. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really love. You know, um, someone, I don't know if it was Keebler or who it was, but a, a well-known pretzel company back years ago constantly you could buy the butter the butter pretzels and you couldn't find them for the longest time and when I saw those I snatched them up and of course I picked up um, a bag of the regular the real skinny stick penny sticks because I absolutely love these um, these are also good through December 3rd of 2020. <clears throat> I picked up this double stuff, um, two packs, three cookies per pack of Oreos. I really should have picked up a couple more of these. And where did I? Okay. January 2021. Okay, I picked up this pretty coral colored um, tray that, you know, a lot of people use these for like their glue gun, but my husband um, recommended this for when I'm doing my nails to um, have, you know, to put my nail polish bottle in so that if I do happen to spill it, it won't go on, you know, like the sofa or whatever. It'll go in this tray. I probably should have picked up two to have one for my glue gun too, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll pick another one up. They had this pretty coral color, and then they kind of had this lilac color, but it wasn't very pretty, so I went with the coral one. Okay. I picked me up another sleeve of these Mamba chews. Um... You get 24 chews. I bought one of these the last time in Tropical Fruit, and I was kind of bummed because I to they totally messed it up. You get four. It's broken into four sections, okay? Like this one, you get strawberry, orange, raspberry, and lemon. So what you do is you get those four individual packs of six, okay? And they are individually wrapped. Well, the last one... Um, instead of getting the kiwi mango, they gave me two of the coconut pineapple. So I was pretty mad about that. So I hope they got it straight this time because I 
bought these chews in a bag and I absolutely love these flavors so really like that I picked up some of the original super glue in this type because those little kind that you squeeze the tubes most of those are air and you really don't get your um, hardly any product in it so um, I got this kind I'm not flipping you guys off but this middle finger here um, this this middle finger for some reason is a problem nail years ago I like bent it over so I have a a line that goes down my whole nail bed that has never ever fixed itself again it's this nail always gives me issues so it's like a weak fracture that never has healed so this nail cracked all the way down to here and that's why this nail is um, shorter and I thought that I got it but it has cracked a little bit more so I'm hoping that I can take this super glue and put over that fracture and I'll just keep using my nail growth to hopefully get that out a little bit and then um, cut the fracture completely out of there the one because it's totally split and I, I really don't want to pull it all the way down to the quick again so I'm hoping that this will help seal that fracture that until it grows out so that's why I got that I know I picked some of these up the last time but I feel like you can never have enough of markers and these are really really pretty colors and these are the dual ended markers so I went ahead and picked up another pack and I really enjoyed I thought this was really pretty this is going to be hard for you to see but um, it is a it's a pretty pink and it is a very pretty like um, fuchsia and a real pretty like lime like my nail polish um, but these are glitter markers so um, I got those for coloring because I do have a lot of coloring books and from time to time I do like to color so I open the wind the curtains back there and a curtain that's over here to help bring some more light in and I do have like this lamp here I don't think it's really doing much of anything except down here um, hopefully so you guys can see better and I did clean that window because Will had some kind of pictures up and it had sticker residue. So I did clean it up before I made this video. Okay, here is another bag of my stuff. I finally found me some of these nail friendly. It has the nail protector grooves in it now that I let my nails grow out again. Um, I'm always looking for a scrubby sponge for the shower because we've got like shelves in there over here and over here there's like three shelves and they get really grungy so I wanted something that has a really nice and it feels like this has a really nice scrubby end and it's always hard because of the nails to try to you know get a good grip on something so I'm really happy that I found these because I know a lot of people always buy these so hopefully this will make cleaning the shower shelves a lot easier. <clears throat> I am so bummed. I found these absolutely beautiful stickers. You can't really see it. Um, how beautiful they are, but they are glitter. They're gold. Very, very beautiful. Um, I don't know if you can see it maybe better down there. I'm sorry. Uh, so you can see it a little bit. You can see it shimmering down there, right here. Anyhow, these are absolutely gorgeous stickers because eventually I am going to be making some crafts, and I thought these were absolutely beautiful. Um, unfortunately, I could only find this one pack. Um, so, like, I was thinking of spelling out the word like blessed or whatever, 
So I think I do have enough letters to do that, but I'm really, I really hope I can find some more of this. It's just alphabet, and it says right there, glitter, right there in the corner. Stickers. Beautiful. Another bag of the butter grapes. I needed to get some of these um, cotton rounds for my nails. Um, I only have like a little bit of my pack in there right now, so I got me another one. I do like to put, um, this has like three coats on, just of color, and then like two layers of, it has a base coat, so that's four, and then two layers of a top coat. So it really takes a lot of these to, to get this stuff off, you know, to start over. So I do go through these a lot. Okay. I did pick up another one of these Allure. Um, I absolutely love, I keep a pack of these in the glove box because when we go in a store like we did at Dollar Tree, I was so sweaty and I just feel like because of COVID, I like to totally wash my face off. You know, I have the mask on, but I just totally mm. like to wipe the mask off. But I do have oily skin and occasionally I get a breakout like I've got one right there I need to treat. So, um, I really do like this witch hazel. I really like, like, the, um, watermelon ones that I have in the car. Are they, I think they're watermelon. Um, or maybe it's cucumber and aloe. I can't remember. I have had the watermelon before. Um, I bought some coconut watered ones, which I thought I would like because I love coconut from Walmart. Ugh. I paid, like, three dollars and something, and it was, like, two or three of this size of a pack and I couldn't stand the smell so I'm really weird if I don't like the smell of something I won't use it so anyhow I got this maybe to keep this one in my purse or something okay more of my favorite candy you know I've said it before Lemon heads are one of my favorite candies because um, I just love how sour, how sour they are. I love sour stuff. And um, I really like these chewy lemon heads. These are more of a fruit mix. They do have a tropical mix of the chewies, and I'm not a fan of the tropical mix. Um, you know, I prefer this one, which is the green apple, the grape, the um, cherry, the orange. So, I really love these. So, I got two boxes of the Chewy. And I got one box of the regular. The Chewy is a lot quicker to, to eat, obviously, because it's Chewy. And these you can savor a little bit longer because they're hard. bag but then I'll turn it over to Will and you can see what he got. Okay hold on buddy let mommy do her last bag okay? It's like that okay? Okay. All right um I know you've seen me talk about it before I love puzzle books so yeah. I got um this spot the difference one it has the dog on the front but um there's 17 puzzles. They do have the answers in the back. There's some sports related ones, birthday related, you know, donuts, and this one. Um, anyhow, each book has 17. I love these. And what's nice, and I've said it before, I'll show you again since some of you don't know. Each puzzle is different as far as like how many, um, differences like this one says nine and then they give you the little boxes to keep score what I like to do is I go ahead and take a dark like a, a black pen or a black marker and on I decide which side I'm going to do and I actually circle on one side the difference so that's how I keep track 
That's just how I do it. But there's this one with the dogs. Then I got this one with the Jeep on the front. Show you. There's the pretty lady. There's another sports one. There's another beach type. Look at this funny one with the dog. Isn't that funny? Another beach one. So this has a lot of beach type backgrounds. So um, you can't beat this for a dollar. And these are all in color. These are not black and white. I can't stand doing these type of pictures when they're not in color. So these are very nice quality. They are not um, blurry at all. You can really see these. So I really, really enjoy these. So if you haven't tried this and you see these, you should definitely get some. It, I mean, it's really fun. And it keeps your brain busy. And, you know, I mean, it's a really nice thing that if you have like a a parent in a nursing home or something um, those are really nice you know what else I do those for is now that we have the COVID going on I'm taking Samuel each morning to um, school and then picking him up in the afternoon and in the afternoon I spend 30 minutes in the car waiting for him excuse me so um, I'm always working on puzzles in that 30 minutes. I found these um, Super Glide fashion pins. I like to use colored ink, which I've said before, for my puzzle book. So this is a blue, a purple, and a pink. Um, and they do have a lid that comes off. I try, I don't really like to get ones that I have to worry about misplacing the lid. But I've never tried these before and I wanted to try them because I wanted to see um, how smooth they write. Okay. Here is the other beautiful set of glitter pens. Another lime color. I don't mind that I, I have two of the lime color. Um, and the blue. So I've got two lime, a blue, and a fuchsia color. These will be really, really pretty. Okay. I needed to get more nail polish remover, and I love this type of bottle, you know, the kind you just push down and the solution goes up at the top. So I, they had two or three different um, types, and I chose the one that's 100% acetone. So um, I made sure this was shut up nice and tight, so I got that, because I was almost out of nail polish remover. Now oh, there's somebody back there with a bicycle. Okay, um, normally too when I do my nails, I have a aerosol can of nail dryer. I did see this, this super dry, um, dries polish to a high gloss shine. Um, apply a layer of super dry after multiple coats of your favorite nail enamel for a quick dry that locks polish in place. When used between manicures, it will brighten your enamel and quickly dry to a complete finish. So I am um, excited to try this because um, I've been lucky enough to pick up a, um, a clear base at the Dollar Tree, a fast drying top coat at the Dollar Tree, and now I found this super dry. I do use Sally Hansen nail, like three different kinds is what I have in my stash of um, to get your nails to grow and to strengthen them and stuff. So, what happened to the part of my fingernails? Oh. Okay. Um, I did pick up just one of these cheap 20. Um, pieces of the jot markers. These are fine tips because you can never have too many markers in your um, in my container for when I do coloring. So I just went ahead since I saw them and uh, picked that up. 
My last item is this book that I got, and it has the sticker right there. BJ's price, $9.69. Um, and on the back, the sticker it has on the back for the store, um, Fiction, USA, $14.99, Canada, $18.50. So it's called Just Fine with Caroline. I'm going to read you the back really quick, so if you see it. Um, it has... Let me see. I always like to tell you guys. 348 pages. It has um, P.S. Insights, Interviews, and more in the very back. Okay. It says, Whenever someone tells you they're just fine, they're probably lying. Carolyn O'Connor tells herself everything is just fine. Never mind that her faithful companion dog is mostly deaf. Her best cousin's marriage is on the rocks. Her mother has Alzheimer's, her father retreats to his study every night, and she's stuck back in Coldwater, Missouri, a place she once thought she'd left for good. That's, or there's all that, and Noah Cranwell, too. A far-flung relative of a local, local family mostly known for running moonshine, the ex-veteran has come home to Cold River with troubles of his own and has had his eyes on Carolyn and her dog. He also seems to be the key to something that happened to Carolyn's mother in the past, something that's been a secret for decades. Carolyn has always believed she knows everything about, how, about Cold River and the people who live in its hills and hollers, but occasionally life's greatest surprises happen closest to home. So, I tried to read that as fast as I could. It sounds, um, you know, worth a read. Sounds like something that I would enjoy and for a dollar... It's worth, if I start to read it and it doesn't sound like some, if, if I'm bored, I'll just pass it on to somebody else. So, okay. That is everything that I purchased um, for myself. And Will spent $20 and he's going to show you what he got. You want to switch places, buddy? Yes. Okay. All right, sweetheart. Make sure you can, uh... <sighs> okay. Alright, buddy. You show them, um, what you got from the Dollar Tree. No, don't show that to them. Just show them what you bought. Okay? Go ahead, show them. Uh, Jing and G, Fago Cola, delicious. Okay. Jing Yi, Dai Fago Cola, delicious. Okay. Show what's in that bag. Salty oil crackers. Okay. Snack sign, snack pack. Salted crackers. Will likes to go through and just pick the stuff. He picks a lot of food stuff out. He does this to RCC? Yeah. We buy him his food and everything, but he still insists on purchasing things that he likes, which is fine. So we just let him get what he wants. What is that, buddy? Sir Setton's uh, Hawaii tent. In your bedroom for yeah. a while. Sure, since um, scented beads, Hawaiian. He likes his room to smell Most nice, don't sandwich you? Sandwich crackers. Okay. Regular color zero sugar. A nineteen, a nice big sixteen ounce can, right? Yep. Cheese and orange roll crackers. Grab and go. 
Oh, there's four packs in this. Cheese puffs. Yep, Cheetos cheese puffs. Oh, buddy, those Candy look good. Cookies. Those look really good, Will. Eminent little M and M type, uh, and the cookies, chocolate chip cookies. Chips, I hope chocolate chip cookies, original. Yep. Ten cookies. Okay. I like what you got so far, buddy. <sighs> Popcorn pop. Okay. Sir sure sends Bajo below some uh, a bedroom for us uh, changing around sideways. Yep. Uh, Angel Blossom. Ooh, Will, that smells nice for your bedroom. I like it. Thanks. Chocolate chip flavored cookies. Okay, that's a nice big thing of cookies. Little Dutch made cookies. Racy pieces. Mm -hmm. A theater box. Peanut butter and hams. Hawaii yeah. sure sending some spray for bedroom. Yeah, this, he has uh, one of those automatic around. air fresheners, so this is a refill. This saves you a lot of money, because if you buy these at Walmart, they're almost $5. So if you have the automatic air fresheners, uh, start getting them at the Dollar Tree. You'll save a lot of money. And then another solid. For a whale's bedroom. Um, cashmere Woods. So I don't think he puts these all out at once, but he does like to have these handy to keep, you know, I don't blame him. I like everything to smell really nice, too. We're going to cold cherry. Okay, 16 ounce can. I love these. I picked myself up a regular Coke, too. Uh, that's what's in here. And then my husband got me a cup of ice. Okay. That's everything. Look. Will likes to um, keep track on a piece of paper for me. A workout. Um, we don't go by this number. He works out on the treadmill. $286 of two cents. Can I, I use a payday hour paycheck store like Entertainment Junction? Please. Well, honey, right now it's COVID, so. Very good. What I do is. I ask him to work out on the treadmill, and then I get, I'll get i take him to either, um, like today we took him to the Dollar Tree. Last week, I took him to two different Goodwill stores. I, the Entertainment Junction gift shop. Well, honey, I don't know if it's open with COVID right now, okay? Okay. So, um, he likes to give me little reminders that he has been, you know, working out on the treadmill. Thank you, honey. Okay, that is our, both of our hauls. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope everyone is doing well. Like I said, I hope this setup is better where, um, where is the freaking window? There it is. Back there. Um, I open those curtains and then over here I open those curtains to try to get some more light in here so you could see better. I still want to get like some kind of a light to put behind this computer like a ring light or something that will shine things up better for you. And you see Ivy right now climbing back there on my dresser. Okay. Tomorrow be Saturday? Yep. Tomorrow Saturday. Um, I hope well, you get paid. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I hope nobody is um, you know in Louisiana where all that hurricane is. Better roots. If you are, I'm so so sorry. I hope everyone is healthy and staying out of danger. Oh. <laughs> Will's phone, he's showing you. Okay. Ha! All right everyone. Bye. Have Say a great bye, weekend. buddy Will. Have fun.
If you have enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest context. And check out the other great clips on Let's Talk with Melissa and Paul on the YouTube network. Thank you.